what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so today's video is a cooking video today is thanksgiving so hope everyone's being safe out there having a wonderful day and happy thanksgiving to everybody from my family to yours uh, let me know what you cook for thanksgiving in the comment section all right so today let me tell you what we're cooking we're not making turkey right so because we don't really like the turkey so much so we're making a big chicken uh, baked sweet potatoes and some Guyanese fried rice that's a Guyanese Thanksgiving right so stay tuned I'm going to show you some of the stuff here so this is the baked chicken I'm going to go in the pan right there and then we have the um, the sweet potatoes right here ready so I got my mom today preparing up the chicken All right, chicken looking good there. So she gonna cover it up now. That's ready to be baked there. I'm gonna set the oven to 400 degrees. degrees and when you heat up I'm gonna put it in all right and then we're gonna start on the um, the baked potato next all right putting in the baked potatoes there there for baking and that's gonna go in the oven also Okay, now he's there ready. And then after that, we're gonna start with the fried rice, right? Chinese style fried rice, baked chicken. All right, so waiting on the oven to heat up there now. After that, we're gonna put in the stuff. All right, so the, um, the chicken is ready to go in. The oven is hot now. It's been a couple of minutes, so we're gonna put in the that's the chicken going in there, and then the sweet potatoes. I'm gonna leave it, check it periodically, and then um, when we finish, I'm gonna show you how it looks. We're gonna put some um, mom says some barbecue sauce on it when we finish out. So right, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna start right now with the Guyanese style fried rice we're getting the ingredients together so I found the recipe for the Guyanese style fried rice on um, real nice Guyana so check out that channel if you probably know it already pretty big channel in Guyana nice um, fried rice Guyanese style fried rice right so that's where I found the recipe so that's what we're making today it's a good different than what my mom usually cooks alright so let's get started with the fried rice so I got the mom put on the, um, the pot there so you're gonna use oil and then um, so this is the ingredients here we get white rice right we get some um, so the oil don't go in there already like heat up then you go put the onion like fry up with the garlic paste and then the ingredients and then all this stuff is to fry up over here is to fry up after for, to put in the fried rice right so we're gonna start with that now we got all the seasoning here fried rice seasoning five spice um cash rip soy sauce some bora there we got the sweet pepper here um scallions cut up um celery there some onion over here all right so that's basically simple recipe there and you can put out of black pepper and salt so we're gonna wait for this aisle hot up here now, then we're gonna start. Alright, so we're gonna start here now with the onion. Alright, and then some garlic paste. I'm 
I'll let that fry up a little bit. And then after that, we're gonna throw in the rice. Alright, so rice here. You just wash the rice and you throw it in there. And then the, the ratio for the rice is 3 cups of rice is going to be 6 cups of water. Alright. So let that fry up a little bit there. And it's, it's always good to have all your stuff cut up and ready. So it's easier, you know. now and turn it up. Cover it and let it cook down for about five minutes. step is to put in the um, cash rip, soy sauce and some salt and, and black pepper all right so time to start throwing the seasoning now all right so one teaspoon there yes and then also one teaspoon mm -hmm. give it a turn up there and then you gotta add in the cash rip the taste and color and then the um so we right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is good. Turn it up again, a little color, and then add in the soy sauce. Let that cook down for about five minutes and then you're gonna put black pepper and, black pepper and the salt also, right? Okay, then. Let's All right, so time to add the salt and the black pepper. So the salt going in there. Mm -hmm. Black pepper and the That's a turn of that. I like cook down a little bit, about five minutes. Look nice there. Alright. And then the next step is to add six cups of water, right? So, like cook down, you add your water to it. And then, when that done cook, then you start cooking your um, 
Fry up all the vegetables and stuff, right? Alright, time to start doing the vegetables now. So we get a pot here. So we're gonna start off with the peppers. And some of the other stuff here. Put the hat up a little bit. Put a little island. Alright, so we're gonna check on the rice here. I'll let that cook down a little bit there. And then we add the oil here now. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna start here down with the sweet pepper. Vegetables there. So how much you need? So that's what's done there. Add the bora also. Okay, so get bora in there ready for landing. I let that cook for and then you're gonna add the other stuff to the peppers and the um, scallions and the shallows and things all right so the the rice is ready here now we're gonna add the water inside the rice all right So that, that water right there is going to cook the rice also. So you're going to check it periodically. So make sure it's cooked right. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to add all the other stuff inside. And the vegetables there. So you get the uh, celery and then you get the pepper there and then the shallow right and then we're gonna add some seasoning also to it to give it a little flavor. Mm -hmm. A little bit of seasoning there. Yeah, and some black pepper also. And salt for taste, right? So when it's all there, and then there's no So we gotta wait let the, the vegetables cook and then when the rice don't cook we're gonna mix the two of them together we get going with fried rice right mm -hmm. so we never cooked this before we saw the recipe so we're trying it now right all right so we're gonna give the rice a quick check here now So 
They look like you need some more. I'm trying to cook them a little bit more. vegetables here don't cook ready to go in there right so while the rice is cooking outside I'm gonna give a quick check to the chicken let's see what the chicken looking like and a quick piece here now Okay, so it's cooking left, looking mm -hmm. nice. Alright. So when it finished we're gonna do the um we're gonna do the barbecue sauce on it. And that's gonna be the end of the chicken, right? So Alright guys, so the rice is finished now. See there it look nice and loose, so we're gonna add the um the vegetables now. Quick turn up there now. Alright, so I'm gonna dry it on there. That's it, I don't got any style fried rice. Can't wait to taste it. So all you gotta do now is wait on the um the on the now. chicken and then when the chicken finish we get it um big sweet potatoes and then um that's it all right all right so we're gonna put the fried rice inside of a, a pan now Let's spread out Fry rice down there. I dry it down a little bit on top of that. All right, guys. So the um, the baked potato is finished, and my mom made some um, corn bread, right? So we just added all the ingredients together, right? So you here now. So this is the skillet. We're gonna put it in. You gotta hot it. You gotta hot it in the oven first and then get the ingredients here and put your butter inside all right and lay melt down and then you throw in the cornbread all right so this is the cornbread recipe here you can look it up on youtube however you want to make it this is a quick one you look up in the car and bread there now mm 
-hmm. And then I'm gonna bake it at 400 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. That's what the recipe say. So we're gonna take out the um the baked potato. Baked potato is finished. Sweet potatoes, right? So that's finished. I'm gonna put in the cornbread. All right. And give you guys a look at the sweet potato here. So that's finished there. Now we're now we're just waiting on the chicken and the cornbread and then Thanksgiving dinner or, or lunch actually. We get up like already this mind to make lunch, right? So that's Thanksgiving lunch, Guyanese style. Alright, so the cornbread is finished. So I got my brother here helping now. It's a little bit heavy, so cornbread there. Uh, Yummy. Looking delicious there. Uh, Nice yeah, recipe. Nice. Cut them? Yeah, cut a piece obviously. So we're gonna cut it to see how it looks. Yeah, one. Yeah, one plate. Hmm? Yeah, one more. Oh yeah, look at that. Really nice. That's that's the way you want it to look. Cornbread there. Uh, gonna work nice with the chicken. You can put butter on it. And you got the fried rice here. And we're waiting on the chicken still. Chicken is still baking. Alright. So let me see here. Mm. It's hot, right? So Oh yeah, real nice, awesome. Tastes like cornbread. So, so when the chicken finish, we're gonna show you guys. All right, so the chicken is almost done. All right, so here we go. You guys here, I'm gonna put the barbecue sauce on it. That's the recipe, right? Some nice barbecue sauce there. And then we can put it back. Right, We're gonna put it on broil over there, and then broil it. That will be the finished product, right? Looking nice there already. All right. Mm -hmm. Gonna set it to broil. Mm -hmm. And then leave it there. And then when you finish, I'm gonna show you guys. So we're gonna Cut up the cornbread here, get it ready. Alright, and then the chicken, we're gonna go on this here, and then we're gonna put the rice also. Alright, so looking nice there. Alright, so. So we're dishing out the rice now. Almost ready for lunch. Rice looking nice, uh, nice and loose. Taste, I taste it already. It tastes just like Guyanese fried rice, right? Had to make sure, you know that. All right, let's go there. Looking okay, nice there. We got a sweet potato here. All 
Alright, so that's the sweet potato there. Next, ne only thing left now is the chicken. Alright, so the chicken is finished here. Get, and I don't want to get born, so. Alright. Chicken looking nice there, you gotta cut it up now. Alright, so. Mark, cancel. Okay, yeah. so I got to turn on the stove here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Slice up this chicken, you know, to the best of my abilities. <laughs> wow, looking delicious there. Eh? Look like he cooked through. Chop it. You can chop. Chop it? Yeah. I got fish. Is it a spoon? So, see the chicken here, cook really nice, smoke come out from it there, the barbecue sauce, looking delicious there. So I'm going to cut up the whole thing, and then I'm going to show you how it looks on the plate, alright? Alright guys, so we finished cooking everything, everything set up on the table here, Thanksgiving lunch, right? We got a chicken, fried rice, sweet potato, cornbread. Some cranberry thing there that for eat with the chicken right so that's that's lunch so we're gonna start eating now show you guys do the taste test all right with me here all right i know the fire tastes good because i taste it already so i get the chicken here right Chicken look delicious. Alright. And then we get some sweet potato. Alright. Everybody taking out their food here now. So everybody is eating here now. How, how is the food? Very good. Very good. Very good. Mom is the best cook. <laughs> All right, how is food? Very good. Good, good. So everybody. This is like the best. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, everybody so. like the food. Food is good. <laughs> Lunch time here. All right, so. I'm gonna do my taste test here for you guys now. Let's see if I can hold the camera and do the taste test, right? Really good. So, we are having a Thanksgiving lunch right now. Everybody on the table eating. Fried rice dish, real good. Try some of this chicken. Alright. Chicken eat real nice. So. Alright, guys. So, that's the end of the video. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching and from my family to yours, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope everybody is having a safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.